Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Christy. I'm a homeschool mom of three, ages 10, four, and two. Today's video is going to be the first video in a series all about homeschool storage. Today's video is going to be all about our art supplies and how we store them. Arts and crafts are always happening in my house. All three of my kids love arts and crafts and so art supplies tend to explode all over our house. We live in a smaller home so I can't have art supplies all over the place or everything is just chaotic. Also when it comes to storage solutions, I am on the more simple end of things. I like to keep things really simple, really easy. I don't like a lot of labels. I don't like a lot of storage furniture in pieces all over my house. When it comes to art supplies, I do also try to keep things simple. Honestly, I don't think there's a huge benefit to having a plethora amount of art supplies. You don't need five different marker brands. You don't need millions of bottles of paint. I tend to find that when I keep the art supplies simple, my kids are actually more creative. They have to learn to use what they have to create what they want. So don't be afraid to get primary paint colors and have them mix them. Mix to make all these other colors that they want. Obviously there's sometimes special art projects that we need to do for a curriculum or something that we're doing or a lesson or an extra craft. And so I will pick up those extra supplies, whether it be glitter or sequins or feathers or felt or beads, I will pick all that up in the moment if there's something that we're gonna make. But trying to store all of that stuff all year round is just not practical for a small living space. So without further ado, let's get into how we store our art supplies. So this is our art carts. And this method works really well because the kids can come in and grab it anytime that they want, any craft supplies that they need throughout the day. So on the top shelf here, we have all of the pencils and scissors, paint brushes. These are the twistable colored pencils from Crayola, some paint palettes and some watercolor palettes. All of the crayons are in here in this basket. These are all the markers. There's some pipe cleaners tucked in here and some googly eyes. This is the second shelf and on here we have all of the tempera paints, all of the acrylic paints. So we use tempera paints like for every, pretty much every project. And then these are special paints that Lacey will use if she makes like some kind of clay creation or crafty type wooden project or something like that. Glue. In here we have some more glue. This is uh, all-purpose tacky glue for lots of different mediums. And then I didn't realize they had this. I saw this this year. It's spray glue. So it like sprays out. I don't know. We're going to try that out. We have regular glue sticks as well. And then down here we have some of these uh, paint sticks, which I picked up this year to try out with Isla. I've heard moms of toddlers really like these tempera paint sticks. They're kind of like glue sticks, but they're paint. So I thought we'd try them out. There's a bunch of different brands of these. I just picked up the Crayola ones because that's what Walmart had. Um, back here we have all of the crafty things. So we got like little wooden sticks, popsicle sticks, uh, little clothespins, and some twine, and just like hands-on crafty things. And on the bottom shelf, we have our air dry clay, which we use for history projects a lot of times and just little things we're doing. And then this is full of paper. So we have, <laughs> it's kind of a mess. Um, we have all this construction paper, more construction paper down there. And then I have like special painting paper down there. Too. So that's pretty much how we organize all of our art stuff. This is our art cart. So I hope that you found this video on our art cart storage system helpful, maybe inspired you. I hope it did. And be on the lookout for many more homeschool storage videos. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.